My name is AJ, and I'm keen to work with computers and electronic equipment. If it's technology you're interested in, then communication and information systems is the job for you, AJ. The Air Force is a large multi-role organisation, and accurate, reliable communications are required to keep everything running. And CIS technician Nadia Temple is going to teach you how to keep in contact. Hi, I'm Nadia. Hi, Nadia. Um, I'm AJ. <laughs> this is what we're going to get you to jump into today for our activities on base. Okay, thanks. The kind of things that CIS do, uh, we provide radio communications to the aircraft when they're in flight, and we provide all the corporate services that you'd be able to access on base, things like your email and your defence networks, um, internet, welfare phones. First up, AJ has to learn how to talk on the radio. There are procedures that need to be learnt. Now, to start off any call, you have to state your call signs. And a phonetic alphabet to master. Do you know much of the phonetic alphabet? Most of it. OK, what's C? Charlie. Oh, good. What's S? Sierra. And how about Y? Yankee. Oh, you're too good. OK, well, we might go outside, set up our circuit, and we'll write a com rep and get on the radio. OK, cool. Let's go. Um, a good CIS person will be patient, be motivated, be positive. You need to have the ability to work hard in different environments and you need to have the ability to mould into any situations and be real, like, approachable. Pins Gower is New Zealand Air Force's all-terrain transport vehicle and takes CIS personnel and equipment anywhere it needs to be. OK, AJ, we're still currently on base, but what we're going to do is simulate one of our tactical exercises. The raising of the mast and putting up antennas is the vital piece of the puzzle for all radio communications. So when we deploy into the field, we'll park the Pinsgower up, stick up a mast and antenna and get comms so the aircraft can fly into the area that we're in. AJ has never even put up a tent before, so erecting this 8 metre tall radio tower is proving to be a bit of a challenge. Hopefully we're going to get it. Oh, our pegs come out. Communications is vital because without us, the aircraft can't go flying. Headquarters can't tell our personnel that are deployed what to do when they're overseas. And there'll be no connectivity between what the people in Joint Forces want and what we're doing on our bases. Just push it in nice and tight, real hard. Use a bit of force. AJ's call sign is Sabre and his mission is to tell headquarters how the radio array is set up so that communications can begin. Air Force Auckland, this is Sabre over. Sabre, this is Air Force Auckland, over. Air Force Auckland, this is Sabre, Comrep, Alpha Stop Sabre. Keep going. The first time you talk on a radio is pretty nerve-wracking. You do get a bit nervous. It's, you're normally talking to live aircraft, so you're a little bit conscious about what you're saying, how you're saying it, what are they listening, and if they're joking about you behind your back. <laughs> Just say Air Force Auckland, this is Sabre, negative, out. Air Force Auckland, this is Sabre, negative, out. Awesome, you just did your first radio call. Congratulations. It's not just radio communications Nadia is in charge of. She also sets up satellite communications. Basically, for when our force elements deploy, they'll take this small satellite dish with them. Yep. And so they can have internet wherever they go all over the world. Okay. See those beats are starting to increase now? Yep. So we must be pointing in the right direction around about. But try moving it around again. Hear that? Yep. Perfect. And what next thing we do is just bang your button on that OK button. Now the stink thing about this, AJ, is that I can only show you a glimpse of the IS things that we do. Okay. Because most of the thing stuff that we work with is confidential, so we're unable to view it today. Have you got a Facebook? After AJ changes his status to I love the Air Force CIS rules, they head off to try out the Pinsgower's off-road capabilities. OK, another part of our trade is foil driving, because we have to take these things into a lot of tricky places. We've got to learn how to drive them. For this, you need your Class 2 licence, so I can't let you jump in the driver's seat. The Pinsgower has given CIS the ability to deploy into the field in New Zealand and overseas and support our force elements while they're travelling to and from our bases and in any location around the world. The Pinsgower not only goes off-road, but it can also fly. A big part of comms, AJ, is we travel a lot. We get lots of opportunities to go overseas and work with the rest of the Defence Force to get communications to the squadrons. So we're just going to reverse this onto the back of a Hercules and like we would normally deploy. OK, cool. 
So far in CIS I've been to New Caledonia and to Malaysia and all over in New Zealand of course. Um, we do really big exercises with other countries and so there's a huge opportunity to travel. I haven't been deployed yet but I'm just waiting in line for everybody else to have there to go first. <laughs> So we're all set to go, the doors are just going to come up and we'll fly away. That's cool, Nadia. Unfortunately, AJ isn't on the hook. He's got more to learn on the ground. Now, AJ, we're inside the comm centre. This is the place where we take control and guard for early aircraft that the Air Force has flying. Because you haven't been properly trained, we can't let you talk to live aircraft. But what we're going to do is simulate that and let you have a talk on the radio. That's cool. OK. The room is under lock and key, and the monitors are blanked out because so almost everything here Ali is a state a secret. Car. Everybody that comes into CIS needs to have a very high security vetting. Um, we go through lots and lots of training on what we're allowed to tell people, how to use cryptographic items, how to secure cryptographic items, so we are continually keeping secrets from people and not telling people what we're doing just because CIS is so top secret. We're the secret squirrels of the force. <laughs> awesome. They might have to keep secrets, but Nadia can definitely tell us how AJ did. AJ did really, really well. He, he's really, really intelligent and he was a really nice guy. I would absolutely love him to join our trade. He'd be a good guy and fit right in. It was awesome. I enjoyed my time here at the Royal Air Force Base. The people here are great. I got my registration pack here. As it says, step up. And I can't wait to make it in. And that's over and out. To enter the Royal New Zealand Air Force, you must be a New Zealand citizen. You need to pass a series of tests, including a medical exam and fitness test, and interviews. You also need to be given security clearance, so any criminal convictions you have will be looked at. It is preferred that you have held a Class 1 driver's licence for at least six months. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.